Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle Matte Lip Creams. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. I purchased all 12 shades in this collection. Each lip retails for $20. If you have not watched my previous review on the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balms, I'll leave it right over here in the cards. I also purchased the foundation and the concealer, so definitely stay tuned for that. I do want to read a little bit about these on rarebeauty.com. An air whip lip cream that hugs lips with rich melted in color, a nourishing hydration that won't weigh you down. Airy whipped cream formula glides on easy for full on color with a featherweight feel. Velvety matte finish with a soft blurring effect. Lips look full Fuller, smoother, and more plump. Hydrate, softens, and stays put. Lips feel comfortable all day. No drying or caking here. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. You do have the shade right here, and it says Rare Beauty. When you turn it over on the back, it does say the same thing, but in a different language. On the other side, you do have a different language. This is a 12-month shelf life. On the other side here, you do have the ingredients. Again, this is in the shade Energize. The packaging is very nice and soft. It says Rare Beauty. I do also love the cap. Let's see what the shade in Energize looks like. I love when the inside is clean. That means it's not used. Here's what the applicator looks like. It is double-sided. Energize is described as a bright coral shade. Let's go over it. I'm going to go over this swatch. Here we go. Ooh, this is so bright. Here's what one layer looks like. I do want to build it up to a second layer to see if it's buildable. It is buildable. I'm going to press my lips together. These feel so soft on the lips, very comfortable. It doesn't feel like anything is there. I added two layers. The shade in Energize is a little bit too pinky for me. The next shade is called Motivate. Motivate is described as a watermelon pink shade. Very pretty. These are one swipe pigment. I did have to build it up quite a bit. This formula is reminding me of a blotted lip. It did not cover up my dark upper lip with just one layer. We're going to build it up. I'm loving how soft and lightweight the formula feels on my lips. It feels like nothing's there. The next shade is called Ascend. Ascend is described as a deep fuchsia shade. It's very beautiful. I did also forget to mention that these do have a slight scent to it. It smells like lipstick. One more layer. I really do like this shade in Ascend. It complements my skin complexion. I can see myself reaching for this shade. Did forget to mention, you do have the shade name on the bottom. You get 0.13 fluid ounces or 3.9 milliliters. The next shade is called Heroic. Heroic is described as a true berry shade. I 
We're gonna apply a second layer. I love this shade in Heroic as well. I definitely think applying two layers of the Lip Matte Cream is the best. You get more coverage. One layer is not enough for me in my opinion. The next shade is called Inspire. I think this is the shade that Selena was wearing in her promo. Inspire is described as a bright red shade. I'm gonna try to build it up. Do you notice a lot of product doesn't come out on the applicator? Inspire is described as a bright red shade. I'm gonna apply a second layer. always wanted a bright orange red that will look good on me. A lot of the other bright red shades that I have, they don't complement me. Definitely think it will look great on all skin tones. The next shade is called Brave. This is actually interesting. The shade in Brave, it has a safety seal on it. The next shade that we're gonna be swatching is the shade called Transform and it doesn't have a safety seal. How interesting. It opens up like that, but this one, I can't easily open it up. Next couple of shades, some of them do have a safety seal, like this purpley lavender shade in Darling, and the last shade here also has a safety seal, but the other three shades in between, it doesn't have a safety seal. Not sure why some of them are like that. Definitely wanted to point that out. Let's open up the shade in Brave. Brave is described as a muted terracotta. I'm gonna build up the shade in Brave just so you guys can see what the color looks like. I'm gonna apply another layer. Brave is another gorgeous shade. I normally don't reach for shades like this, but this shade is really pretty. The next shade is called Transform. Transform is described as a deep wine shade. I built up the shade in Transform so you guys can see what the color looks like. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but my bottom lip is lighter than my top upper lip. That's why I definitely think applying two layers is the perfect amount. You can never go wrong with a red shade. The next shade is Courage. Courage is described as a nude mauve shade. I actually really do love the shade in Courage. Let's apply a second layer. I really do like this shade in Courage. I can see myself reaching for this every day. The next shade is called Fearless. Fearless is described as a deep mauve rose. I'm gonna build it up using a second layer. I 
I love this shade in Fearless. It complements my skin complexion. Again, I can see myself reaching for this shade on a daily basis. The next shade is called Darling. Darling is described as a muted lavender shade. Oh wow, this color is different. I like how the shade is not too loud, it is very wearable. I'm gonna apply a second layer. You guys already know purple is my favorite shade. It compliments me. This shade I love as well. I'm not sure where I'm gonna wear this shade to, but it is very pretty. The next shade is called Strengthen. Strengthen is described as a dark, cool red shade. It's such a beautiful shade. I'm having the same issue I had earlier with another shade. My bottom lip is not even with my top lip. I'm gonna apply a second layer. I really do like this shade as well. The last shade in this collection is called Thrilling. Thrilling is described as a true brown shade. Gonna build this up so you guys can see the color. Very beautiful. I'm experiencing the same thing with this shade like we did with the previous shade. Definitely gonna fix that. Apply another layer. Overall, my final thoughts on the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. I really do love this formula. It sits so comfortably on my lips, I can barely feel it. It doesn't feel dry at all. It was so easy to remove using a makeup wipe. My lips don't feel dry after swatching all 12 shades. I will highly recommend applying two coats, that way you get full opacity. I waited a couple of minutes for the formula to dry. I do want to do a kiss test on the back of my hand to see if it does transfer. We have a little bit of transfer, but the majority of the shade is still applied on my lips. I will be wearing the shade in Thrilling for the rest of my day, and I will leave below in the description box how it did wear. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.